In this video, I want to talk about Navigation General and the topics that are involved in this exam module. Navigation General is the second topic in the captain's licensing course, right? And one of the, the first thing we talk about is weather. And we're going to talk in this section about winds and clouds. C L O U D S. We talk about fronts, right? What's the difference between a warm front and a cold front? And what is this occluded front? So we'll talk about these types of fronts and we'll go on to talk about charts, right? The different charts that we use. We'll talk about pilot charts, what's a pilot chart, and some more general charts that we're used to seeing. We'll talk about the scales of charts and the parts of a chart, what constitutes land, what constitutes water, what, what's a contour line, what is land that's covered at high tide and land that's exposed at low tide look like. So we'll cover a lot, all the parts of a chart pretty much. There's a lot of information on a chart. And we'll go on to look at aids to navigation. Aids to n navigation. These are These are usually very they're of high interest to the people that attend this course. And I'll give you a little bit of an example of something that we use to to teach these aids to navigation. This acronym describes all of the right the starboard hand marks returning from sea to inland, right? Red, it says rent. Red, even, none, triangle. Triangle, right? This describes all the starboard hand marks. Everyone's heard red right returning. Well, when you're coming in from sea to a harbor, all the marks on your starboard side are going to be red. If they're numbered, they're even. If they're unlighted, they're going to be a nun buoy. Ooh, that's a little bit of a fatty. But they're going to be a nun. And then they're going to be a triangle. If they're a dayboard, they'll be a triangle. So it'll be a triangle with the two on it. And see this nun? It's got a triangular top. So red, even, nun, triangle describes starboard hand marks. And cogs. Rent cogs. Right? This is a can. Odd. Green. Square. S-Q-U-A-R-E. Square. So these unlighted buoys on the port side are going to be cans. They'll have odd numbers, right? Three. They're, they're going to be green in color and square. See how the top of this one is a square? And the day boards will be a square. Square. Number one. So this is just an example of one of the ways we teach aids to navigation. We also, publications is going to be a part of general navigation. Publications. Publications. Right, we'll talk about light lists. Light lists. And a light list, all of the aids to navigation on a chart, the majority of them will be in the light list. So instead of looking all day on your chart, you go in these light lists and you can find them on a chart. We'll look at Coast Pilot. A Coast Pilot gives more of a... Um, you know, kind of paints a picture of the area, if you will. Let's say you're looking, you're coming into an area you've never been in, and you want to know about that area. You read about that area in the Coast Pilot, and it'll tell you where you should anchor, where you shouldn't anchor, if there's a really hard rip current in a certain area, or if there's a lot of wrecks because of a certain phenomenon in an area. So the Coast Pilot can keep you out of trouble in a new area. And then we'll look at tide tables. Tide tables. Tide tables help us predict tides in certain geographic locations. And we'll look at chart number one. Chart number one are all of the symbols on a chart. Symbols. 
what do I mean symbols so if you see something looks like a little scar with a circle around it what does this symbol mean well this is a wreck and if it's shaded blue it's dangerous to surface navigation right so this is a wreck what happens if it's a wreck and it says right next to it says PA well this PA you look under abbreviations and it will say position approximate so if you see a wreck with a PA by it on a chart and you don't know what it means you can go to this chart number one and it will it'll describe to you what these symbols mean so those are the publications we will use and last but not least we'll, we'll look at some ranges in navigation general ranges we'll look at three different types we'll look at a nominal range well, this is the range that we see the um, light list here will give you the nominal ranges of these aids to navigation it'll say okay it's 168 feet tall and it has this light on it how far can you see it how far can you see it on a day with a visibility of 10 that's a nominal range and then we'll look at luminous range and luminous range says okay it's the same aid to navigation but instead of a visibility of 10 that day there's a visibility of 2 because it's very hazy so we'll be able to correct that nominal range to get luminous range on a day with a different visibility and then we look at geographic range and this one says this one's more theoretical it just says okay the, the earth is curved you're over here at a certain height you can see this far to the horizon and then there's an object maybe it's um, a lighthouse over here that has a certain height how far can it be seen from the other horizon so you get these two distances and you end up adding them together using using a little graph here it says distances to the horizon chart and you use this and we can figure out ranges so this is an overview of what navigation general consists of and yeah it's an interesting topic it's the second topic of the course and we'll see you when we talk about the third topic which is chart navigation this this navigation general it leads into chart navigation seamlessly